I hope you guys are doing well. Everybody has really been pushing me. Hey, come and do a video on feed formulation, feed formulation, cheap feed formulation. My subscribers, is there really a cheap feed? Well, I'm not here to teach you about how to formulate a cheap feed, but I'm here to teach you how to make your own feed. And feed is cheap depending on the availability of the raw materials. So I will give you the various raw materials that you can use to formulate your feed and substitute. Remember, everything we do is scientific and everything we do is based on poultry. My name is Antonio Innocent Mdongi. I'm a poultry specialist up to master's level. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hey, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, join the family. Every week a success story comes and every week a lesson comes for free. All right, I've been watching videos and people are teaching you how to make feeds. People are showing you how to make feeds. Well, I can't criticize anybody's work, but I'm only concerned being a specialist in poultry, especially nutrition, on some of the raw materials you are being given. You know, feed is cheap. And feed is the main determinant of the success of your poultry farm. You mess with feeds, you mess with the whole farm, completely. Either you can make feed that is toxic, in the name of trying to make a cheap feed, and all your birds die, that's a loss. Either you can make substandard feed, in the name of trying to make a feed that is cheap, your birds won't lay in time, won't lay the right number of eggs, if it's broilers, they won't hit six weeks when they have, they have the correct weight. This is likely to bring mortalities. When you lose a bird, that's a loss. And if it's Kenyaji chicken or improved Kenyaji, where are you? All this in the name of making cheap feeds. Cheap is expensive in the long run. All right. Take your notebook and let's hit the road. When you're making feed, I will first start with giving you the universal feed ingredients, the major feed ingredients for making any poultry feed. All right? One, you need to have maize. Maize is the major source of energy. And if you don't have maize, you can have wheat. All right? Then, if you don't, then the other ingredient that is very important, you need to have bran. Either maize bran, if you don't have maize bran, you can use wheat bran. I find some feed formulations quite, you know, funny because you're using wheat bran, at the same time you're using maize bran. So you're repeating a product or an ingredient just because, okay, the names are different, but what is it that we're looking for in that ingredient? We're looking for fiber in bran. And bran is very important for digestion, all right? Especially in chicks. Bran prevents, you know, soiling and clotting of feces in the anal sphincter, okay? So I said you need maize or wheat. You need bran, that is wheat bran or maize bran. And then thirdly, you need a plant protein. And this is where now things become a bit tricky. This is where the major cost of feed in, in chicken increases. This is where the major cost lies, and that is soybean. When you're using soybean, the only substitute I know of soybean is simsim. And simsim cake can be used both as an oil to replace cotton cake or sunflower cake, but I'll get there, or it can be used to supply plant protein but you need to be very very vast with the feed formulations or the person square in calculation of the DCP so that you can use SimSim. SimSim needs only people who are really experienced because once you introduce SimSim in your feeds it has got a very high amount of oil and when the oil levels increase in the feed it increases the position of fat and especially in layers you will see no egg. So for now you can avoid simsim. Then you say you need a plant protein which is soya. How do you use soya? That's why in my introductory statement I said your feed can build you or can destroy you. 
soya has to be roasted or soya has to be cooked using raw soya is poisonous soya has got anti-nutritive factors okay or it has got things we classify as phytokinins when they get into the system of the bird they become poisonous to the bird if it is not cooked or if it's in raw form so you need cooked or roasted soya and this you can easily buy it from as a byproduct don't go and buy the real soya itself buy the byproduct that has been used in feed industries you also need very important either sunflower cake that one is very easy just get it from the factory or from the farm crush and use it as it is or you need cotton cake and this is where the challenge comes in my subscriber if you try or intend to use cotton cake it has to be decorticated okay and I repeat it has to be decorticated when I say decorticated I mean when they're getting the cotton seed to the factory to remove oil or to press oil they have to remove the test the, the tester the outside cover then they can press so that you can buy the byproduct those cotyledons the inner matter that has already been pressed to remove oil that is decorticated but cotyledoned soya sorry cotyledoned cotton cake is cotton cake with the cover they have just pressed to remove oil and then sold to you as a byproduct used for animal feed cotyledoned cotton cake is only used for ruminants polygastric animals a chicken is monogastric and the reason why we say it's very poisonous for your birds the cotton cake cover the cotton seed cover has got something called gossypol gossypol is an anti-nutritive factor it's a binding factor it binds with nutrients that are readily available in the system of the bird rendering them unavailable or it becomes poisonous and leads to shutdown of internal organs of the chicken okay you will see no egg but every day you'll be counting deaths collecting mortalities simply because you didn't use the correct cotton cake so if at all you have to use cotton cake instead of sunflower please use decorticated cotton cake and then finally you need to use fish or fish meal this is not very important but in the traditional feed formulation you can use fish meal but with the current technology that we are using we are no longer using fish meal I don't discourage you to use fish meal because it can be the commodity that is readily available and cheapest for you go ahead and use it but if it's a bit expensive for you don't use fish meal the disadvantage of fish meal is if you use fish meal in layers you'll find that the eggs have got a very pff, oof strong smell if you crush an egg and you try to scramble it in a glass and then you wash the glass and try to use the glass to drink water you feel that smell that raw smell of an egg it really sticks there and then the other thing if you use much fish meal you reduce the life shell of the bird because of too much proteins the life shell of the egg because of too much proteins a very good experiment i did in somalia mogadishu i took eggs made uh, i took eggs we had fed the chicken on fish meal and i took eggs we had fed the chicken on concentrate which doesn't have fish meal and we stored them for some time so during the loading and offloading of the vehicles from the farm truck to the the trucks that are taking them to the market you find that some eggs cracked now the eggs that had cracked from the fish meal when you could open the carton box you could find that pungent smell with jiggers but the eggs that had not been used for fish meal you could only see the egg that has cracked crystallizing but there was not that pungent smell anyway that's for another day so you either need fish meal or i'll give you another substitute towards the end of the video lastly you need lime and this one i just preempt when you're making lime when you're making feed for layers you need 3% lime 
when you come to making growers mash, you go to half of that, which is 1.5% lime. And then when you go to making chick mash, you just need 1.3% lime. When I say 3%, I mean 3 kilograms per 100 kg feed of layers mash. When I say 2, 3, 1.5%, I mean 1.5 kg per 100 kg of growers mash. And when I say 0.75%, I mean 0.75 grams, uh, kilograms per 100 kg of chick mash. Lime is very, very important for birds that are laying. You find that in a, in a, in a batch of 10 birds, some birds lay more than others. And so, when the bird lays more eggs, it needs more lime for deposit, de depositing the shell, all right? Or formulation of the shell in the layman's language. So, this extra lime is stored in the tibula, or tibula is the, the, the bones towards, just to, to the, the lower bones on the legs, or we call them the medullary bones. When you crack the bone of, an, of a layer chicken, that is for the tubular bone, you will see some mesh-like white stuff. And that is the deposition of lime. So it's very important. It's used in advanced stages when the bird is laying. Now, all said and done, I'll be very brief and very easy. I'll just give you formulations for making feed. Straight to the point. Take your pen and paper. I give you a formula for making a 70 kgs layers mash.